Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. We're so glad that you could join us today, even as we look into God's Word. God's Word is um, so powerful. God's Word is the truth. It's life-giving. And uh, there's much that we can learn and apply from God's Word daily, even as He's called us to live a supernatural life, a life that is above the natural life. Um, today, uh, as we've been looking at uh, you know, a, a few of these uh, uh, studies, uh, we've been looking at the questions that people asked Jesus and uh, the Lord's response to those questions. And from that, we've been, you know, learning some truths and also we've been learning how to apply this truth in our own lives um, and experience the power of God's Word. So, uh, today we're going to look at John chapter 9 and verses 1 to 3. Uh, John chapter 9. Now, as Jesus passed by, he saw a man who was blind from birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, Neither this man nor his parents sinned, but that the works of God should be revealed in him. Okay. So, a very in interesting question, you know. The disciples saw this person was, who could not see and uh, he was blind from birth. So they asked him this question, who sinned? Is he in this condition because of his own sin? Or is he in this condition because his parents did something that was displeasing to you, uh, to, to God? And is it because of that? So the Lord said, neither. It's neither this person nor his parents, but he brought out a very important truth. He says, this is an opportunity for the works of God to be revealed in this person. This is neither their fault nor the parents or his, but here's an opportunity. This qualifies, this person qualifies for the works of God to be revealed, for the glory of God to be revealed in this person. So we see that, uh, 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 just adding on to what uh, the Lord uh, says, the other scripture which talks about this, Romans chapter 5 and verse 12 says, Therefore, just as through one man sin entered the world and death through sin, and thus death spread to all men because all sinned. So it's talking about the outworking of sin, it's talking about the spread of sin, and it says that through one man sin entered the world and death spread because of sin. Now, we know that there are some uh, consequences to int intentional sin. And there are some consequences because of the original sin, which manifests itself in you know, certain, certain physical limitations, unrighteousness, maybe wickedness, corruption that we see all around because of the original sin itself. And here we see that uh, the Lord Jesus very clearly saying that it's, it's not this person, it's not the other person. But because that person is in this condition, he has this limitation because of the original sin, uh, because of the consequence of that original sin, because of Adam, he fell and the consequence of that experienced in the bodies of several people. Here is a candidate who qualifies for the works of God to be revealed. And there is so much hope, there is so much uh, uh, truth in that, there's so much power in that statement. That we qualify as people who have or who face the consequence of the original sin in our bodies, in our minds maybe, several limitations. But we qualify as people who can experience the power of God who can experience the miracle working, transforming power of God in our own bodies, in our own minds, in our lives, right? And the Lord Jesus, Acts chapter 10 verse 38, God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil for God was with him. So the Lord Jesus redeems us from everything, from the consequence of sin, from the corruption of sin. And the good works of Jesus dismantle 
the works of the enemy in our own lives. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you because you came for this very purpose to set us free. We thank you, Lord, that you set us free from the consequence of sin because you carried sin upon yourself and you died on the cross for us. And by your stripes, O oh God, we are healed, we are saved, we are delivered. And Father God, we thank you. And if I just pray for, uh, for us, if, there are, if we are carrying any sickness in our bodies, that this morning, that this, at this time, we will experience the healing that comes from the power of the cross, from the finished work of the cross. Let the power of the finished work of the cross be made manifest in our bodies, in our minds. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.